All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So at this point in time, we don't know exactly what's coming to global within the next month or so, right? Like what's coming for December. I mean, obviously we can speculate, we can guess, and the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner, which is the one you see on the screen right now, is most likely, most likely gonna be the next Dokkan Festival banner. And as you can see, the banner was, um, Okay, I mean it's got the it's got the blue boys, it's got the Go Bros, it's got Fizz Beerus, who might be replaced since he was recently featured on Global, but uh, outside of them, um, it's a little bit rough, right? I mean we got this guy again, we got this guy again. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta has been featured a ton as well. Jiren 2, UI Goku as well, and also Angel Golden Frieza. So in terms of value overall in this banner, it's it's not the greatest. The LR Blue Boys though. Like, they're very, very good, and I know a lot of people still want them. So I think for that reason, there's going to be many people that, you know, still summon on this banner. But uh, yeah, like I said, man, in terms of value, it's not the best Dokkan Festival banner we've seen. So this is most likely going to be coming in, like, the first to second week of December, right? And then after that, closer to Christmas, we're most likely going to be getting the LR Jiren Legendary Summon banner, and Jiren... I mean, he's he's crazy. He's ridiculous. He is, no question, one of the best units in the game. Probably top two or three in the eyes of most people. For me, I think he's number two. I would personally still put the STR LR Vegito over him, but that's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, he's just amazing. So definitely another banner that you'll want to save some stones for, right? But as good as these two, you know, new units that are most likely coming to global. Are, there's actually another banner that is coming around the same time that I think should be much higher on the list of priorities for global players as well as JP players actually to be saving their stones for and that banner is the upcoming New Year's Step Up banner. Now of course for my veteran players out there who've been playing for a while now you probably knew this was coming you probably you know we're already saving stones but for the newer players out there who haven't been playing for you know more than a year you might not know that this is a thing you know you might not know that every single year at least for the past couple of years we've received this absolutely amazing step up banner that guarantees you an lr unit on the final step and i want to make sure that you know these newer players don't get screwed right don't get completely blindsided when they spend all their stones on whatever Christmas banner we get, and they realize, oh crap, I have no stones to spend for this insane step-up banner that I really want to summon on, but now I can't unless I buy a bunch of stones. And that's how they get you, man. Like, Bandai usually, or Akatsuki rather, usually releases, you know, a pretty hype banner for Christmas, and then they'll drop this step-up banner right after, and if you don't buy stones, you're screwed. And believe me, guys, this banner is gonna be a must summon and that's not something I say about a lot of banners you know like usually when there's a really good banner with great featured units and all that stuff I might recommend that you summon but I still wouldn't say it's a must summon but this banner is a must summon because the value that it provides you for your stones is unlike any other okay this is pretty much the most value you're ever going to be getting out of your stones when you summon in this game, okay? Because even if you get completely screwed, even if you get the worst RNG, if you do one round on this banner, you're still gonna be walking out with a guaranteed LR unit, a guaranteed extreme and super type category lead, a guaranteed 120 lead, and a guaranteed extreme C awakenable unit, all that for 200 stones, and you could get even more, right? Just because you're guaranteed something doesn't mean you can't get more than what you're guaranteed. So like, for example, on the first step, you could get an LR, you can get a category lead, you can get two LRs, like anything is possible. I've seen some crazy multis on the earlier steps besides the guaranteed LR step. And uh, you know what, let's just quickly go through the steps. Okay, so like I said, 200 stones in total. Step one is 20 stones for a full 10 unit multi, and you're guaranteed an extreme Z awakenable unit. So examples would be, you know, the Fizz Goku Black, or the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Int Janemba, Tech Beerus, Fizz Full Power Frieza, and so on and so forth. Step 2 is 30 stones once again for a 10 unit multi, and you're guaranteed a super or extreme class leader. So essentially a 120 lead like 
Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Int Gogeta, who's about to get his Extreme Z Awakening on JP, by the way. Um, you know, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, who just got his EZA on Global. Not the best EZA, but still pretty good. And uh, we also have, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, um, Super 17, so on and so forth. And then moving on to step 3, and this time it is a full priced 50 stone multi, but you're guaranteed a super class category leader. For step 5, it's another 50 stone multi for a guaranteed extreme class category leader. And finally, on the fifth and final step, you get an LR character guaranteed. So no matter how bad you get screwed on this banner, you're still going to be walking out with some value. Now, of course, this video is intended for the average Dokkan player or maybe light spenders. If you're a huge whale like Truth or No Lar or Goretch and so on and so forth, then obviously this banner doesn't make sense for you because you probably already have all the units rainbowed. But for most Dokkan players, especially the free to play players, the value on this banner is so insane. You just, you gotta summon, man. I mean, you don't have to do all three rounds. Last year it was three rounds in total. And I'm suspecting that this year's banner is also gonna be three rounds. It could be four, it could be more, but. Um, I don't think Akatsuki actually wants us to get that many LRs guaranteed, so I'm predicting it's going to be three rounds again, which means that if you want to do all the rounds, which wouldn't be a terrible idea, especially if you're a newer player who's missing a lot of these units, then that's going to be 600 stones. Okay, so if you intend to do all the summons, intend to get as many guaranteed LRs and category leaders and 120 leads and EZA units as possible, then you want to have at least 600 stones ready after you're done summoning on the Christmas banner and whatever other Dokkan Fest banners and stuff like that we have, right? So there you go, guys. Just wanted to make this video to make sure that everybody is aware or even if you knew about it, that you are reminded because some people might have forgotten that the Step Up banner is a thing. And I guess the last thing we'll talk about before we go is what the new units on this year's banner will be compared to last year's because obviously the banner will be updated and for the LR, I feel like, okay, you know what? I would like to say that LR UI Goku would be the newest LR on this banner, but I really think that's highly unlikely. He's just way too new. And if we get the LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku as the newest LR, I think that would be lucky. Now, if we're unlucky, then they might go back to LR Kalen Khalifla as the newest LRs on this banner, which would be kind of unfortunate, right? It would kind of suck, but at the same time, it would still be okay because there would still be a ton of LRs on this banner available for us to pull all the way back to the original five like Gohan, Majin Vegeta, Goku Black, so on and so forth, and then the second generation, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, you know, Bojack, Beerus, and Whis, and then the newer ones like LR Baby, GT Trio, Full Power Frieza, Goku and Frieza, Trunks and Mai, and the list goes on. So even if we don't get the newest LRs like UI Goku or a Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, it should still be okay. The value here is still going to be very, very good. And in terms of the newest Extreme Class lead, I would like to think that we'll get everybody up until SDR Transforming Cooler. And then for the super class lead, it's probably going to go up until Int Future Gohan. And then obviously for the 120 leads and the Extreme Z Awakenable cards, they're going to stay the same because they're not releasing more of those. So yeah, that's my prediction for this banner. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with that. And if not, then what do you think is going to be the newest LR super class category lead and the extreme class category lead? Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to talk about, guys. I mean, if you haven't started saving for this uh, Step Up banner during New Year's, then start now. I mean, you still got over a month to go, so that's still plenty of time to save up a good amount of stones. I know the next couple of banners on Global are probably going to be pretty hard to skip, and I'm not saying they should skip them. I'm just saying keep this Step Up banner at the back of your mind because it's coming guys, and uh, you don't want to be screwed when, you know, it eventually drops. Um, yo, I totally forgot about Tech Broly, he should definitely be on there. Um, who else did I forget? Um, yeah, Goku and Frieza. Oh, LR Bardock as well. Yeah, basically all the non Dokkan Fest LRs that have been released in this game since, you know, inception up until 
uh, whatever the newest one is. Like I said, probably Killing Khalifla, maybe Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku will be on this banner along with all the 70% leads, all the 120 leads, the older EZA units. Um, they're all going to be up for grabs and you are guaranteed at least one of them on each step with the chance to potentially pull more than one, right? Like I pulled an LR Bojack on the uh, second step, I believe, and uh, also an LR Beerus on the fourth step. So it's definitely possible. Even given my luck, it's happened. So it's probably going to happen to quite a few of you guys as well. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Start saving for this New Year's Step Up banner as soon as you possibly can and look forward to it dropping, obviously, around New Year's. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.